Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. news in the streets join us and tune in for the tea breaking news with integrity so sell your friends and your family it's the lovely tv show bringing you good tea and good vibes it's the lovely tv show be sure to share like and subscribe this man named gucci third leg and let me keep it real with you I've never heard of any of these people. I don't go on to OnlyFans. I know I have some OnlyFans tea sippers who have sent me their links and asked me to join their OnlyFans. Um, you know, bless your heart. I'm just not going to pay $5.99 a month to watch you jack off. I'm, just, I'm not interested. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to knock it, but I'm just, I'm not interested in watching. If I, if I want to watch porn, I'll just go to Pornhub. Let me, let's just keep it real. I'm not going to go to OnlyFans. But, um, so I don't know any of these people. I don't go on OnlyFans. Um, so some young girl came out and said this man named Gucci Third Leg, he's a Nigerian man. I guess at one point in time, he slept with 3,000 people. He dated Diamond the Body, who was one of the baddies on, um, Baddies Caribbean. So she came out and said that he gave her HVS2. A lot of folks were confused. They're like, what the hell is HVS2? You know, with the internet, you got to speak in layman's terms. Just say he gave you herpes, okay? Just say he gave you the herpes. We don't need the medical term. So let's go ahead and watch what she had to say about the situation. And I'm going to give my commentary on these people. I'm just going to say, yes, he gave it to me. It's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg... <laughs> burned me with HSV2 and he told me that he was going to send me his test results and he never did and it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls and there's girls with so many similar stories to me and they're so young as well he's preying on the young he's preying on the new and I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago I was scared and I was making so much money I just <laughs> I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. You weren't scared. You were making so much money. That, that's, that's the tea. You were making so much money. Now that the money has slowed down, now we want to be a herpes advocate. Let's continue. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. Okay. So that was the young girl. She went viral. Um, so she's on OnlyFans. Her 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 video is longer than that. That was the short version. Because then she goes on to say that he had uh, open sores on his peen. And he told her that he had cut himself shaving. And she proceeded to sleep with him. Okay. This is my issue with this whole situation. Is that when grown folks tell y'all stuff. Y'all remember for a long time I said this. All this stuff is just a mess. People are promoting promiscuity, promoting being a hoe. It's just, but you know, I'm getting my bag. Anybody who caught this out was jealous. Remember, I was called sex negative when I was calling out Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumpert. I said, you guys have young fans. You guys are a married couple. You guys are couple goals to young fans. Why are you going on to a national broadcasted syndicated show like The Breakfast Club and bragging about busting bitches down and bringing bitches back home with y'all? And I called it out. And I, and I was a fan of Tiana Taylor. But that whole little hobo threesome tour turned me off from her and the mom. Now we fast forward years later. Did the threesomes keep them? Now she's crying about, you know, he's crying about child support and all this foolishness. See, a lot of y'all like to brag about shit and act like there's no consequences to sex. These are some of the consequences when you're out here doing OnlyFans. And you're not, why would you not get the test results before engaging in sex? That defeats the purpose. So you get burned, then you ask for his test results. You're supposed to ask for that first before you proceed to have sex with him. But again, when you talk common sense like this, y'all will be in the comments saying that I'm victim shaming. No, I'm not victim shaming her. I feel bad for her because that is going to change the trajectory of her life. 
But we also had to talk in layman's terms and we also had to keep it real. See, a lot of y'all only see the bag and that's the problem. And when anybody says anything, y'all are quick to call people haters, broke, jealous, ugly, when that's not the case. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to sell pussy, that you don't have to go to school for that. Anybody can start an OnlyFans, get some homeboys and say, hey, run a train on me while well, I get paid. This is not rocket science. This is not like going to school to be a doctor or physician. So you guys are not doing anything that has never been done. There's nothing new under the sun. But if you're going to move that way, you also have to use common sense. There are real consequences to having raw sex with people that you don't know and that you haven't vetted. And one of those consequences are STDs and STIs and unwanted pregnancy. And when people say this, we're old fashioned as if y'all are doing some new shit that we've never heard of and that people weren't doing back in the day. See, y'all got OnlyFans. Back in the day was Backpages, Craigslist, and even before then it was the whole stroke. See, the whole stroll has moved to the internet. And y'all try to switch it up and say, oh, it's sex work. No, you guys are prostitutes. You're prostituting yourself for a bag. And now that you've gotten the consequences of chasing a bag, now you're crying. So, let me play some other, uh... y'all remember the whole stroll? Bitch, I ain't that old. <laughs> That's what they called it back in the day. Um, so now let's go ahead and hear what Gucci Third Leg has to say. Because then she ended up going on a show as well. So Gucci Third Leg, this is just a snippet. He went to go get interviewed by Aiden Ross because supposedly one of the girls that Aiden Ross was smashing is also OnlyFans chick who had also smashed Gucci, Gucci Third Leg. You, you, God, you can't make this shit up. So this is him on Aiden Ross. Even with the whole concert situation, like, I'm done with everything. Oh, so you're retiring as a retiring. Gucci's third leg is retired. I'm done with everything. Because for one, it's like, man, like, when I first got into concert, like, I was doing it, you know what I'm saying, like, just for, you know what I'm saying, like, um, for the money, of course, and, you know what I'm saying, like, just for the, um, for the excitement, it brought me at work. E even with the whole concert situation, like, yeah. like. So he's saying that he's quitting porn. Um, well, are you really quitting because of your own volition? Are you quitting because you have the herps and nobody else wants to get burnt? Well, let's not act like you're doing the world a favor. You're quitting because your name is out here in these streets. Okay. So you have no choice but to quit now. Um, this was him not too long ago bragging. Just disgusting. But yet, she's saying that she didn't know this man's background, but he went viral for this video along with Diamond the Body. So let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say here. I think my body, my body count, count was like, like 3,100, 3, 3, but I was really, I, I, I didn't feel too bad about it because my ex chick Diamond the Body had like, 2000 or whatever but so it was like when when i was dealing with my chick she couldn't really be like oh your body counts too much because her body count like 2000 my body count like 3000 so it's like damn like i ain't feel too too bad about it honestly last thing I said, my body count was like three three thousand and a hundred but i was with did y'all hear that he said his body count was three thousand one hundred diamond the body who has bragged about her body count being 2700 this is my thing do I believe that Diamond has slept with over 2,700 men? Not really. Do I believe that he slept with over 3,000 women? Not really. But the fact that they're putting it out there, do y'all understand the games that are being played? They're trying to promote promiscuity. They're trying to normalize this as normal behaviors. That you can sleep with 3,000 people and come out of that unscathed. No the fuck you can't. Not only are you having over 3,000 people soul ties in you, you're also risking STDs, unwanted pregnancy. But see, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to normalize this to the youth. So maybe his body count is not really 3,000. It's probably closer to maybe 200. But let me over-exaggerate to normalize this to the up-and-coming kids. So that way they don't have any self-respect for themselves and they think it's normal to have a high body count. 
and not understanding that every time you sleep with somebody, you're exchanging souls with them. You're exchanging soul ties with them. And sometimes that can drive you crazy mentally, spiritually, emotionally, because you've let all these random guys nut inside you. So I think it's disgusting that him and Diamond even promote this. Like it's okay, like it's normal. So I, I don't feel bad for him if he has the claps. Shit, that's the consequences of sleeping with 3,000 fucking people, bitch. Now let's go back to, I think she's talking about some proof or something. I, child. All these people get on my nerves. Let's go ahead and watch this. So I want you to see hepatitis B. So we're going to go to HSV1 and 2. I was still negative. Got it. For both. Got it. 3 one 2024. Gucci, if you get that positive result tomorrow, you did not get it from me, boo. Respectfully. Um, but How much do you trust that he's going to his, his private physician rather than like, you know, one of these, you know, um, industry standards. He said he's going to a private physician, so he's going to have to share his results rather than, you know, something that could be verified um, or w something that's more industry standard. W what do you, what's your thoughts about that? Who's guilty, Chad? Uh, my thoughts are, is he's been literally Somebody's guilty. documented as a liar. Like there are numerous accounts saying that they've he's lied to people's faces. So I don't trust him in the slightest bit. Not a word that this man says anymore. I will ever believe unless I, one, have proof from not only him, but a third party that has nothing to do with his personal life. Nothing. That is the only time I will believe that he, anything that comes out of his mouth. I need to. I know that I. Danae, from this man. Danae, are you going to continue to be doing OnlyFans and um, content like that to that matter? Are you going to continue to do so even though you test positive for HSV2? I just want to know what does the future look like for you? So as far as collaborations, I've stopped for months. Um, the last collaboration that I had was with Touch Money V a couple months ago. I think it was about three months ago. I have not done um, an actual sexual collaboration in a couple months. I do not plan on continuing collabs. I do plan on keeping my OnlyFans up and I may drop content um, if I choose to, but that is now something that I do want to leave behind. Um, because it has caused some trauma in my life. Um, and I, I also... Can I ask you about that last collab? You, you said the last collab with Touch Money V, that was after you you reportedly contracted uh, the virus. Did Were you up front with him and saying, hey, listen, I got this? Or or yes. did you not know yet? And, and um, he was okay with it? I was, I was completely aware that I had HSV and not only that, I was telling people. Um, by the time that I com came in contact with uh, Touch Money V, he was already mutually fr mutual friends with people who were talking about it in front of him that I caught HSV too from Gucci. So he hit me up in my DM, texted me, telling me that he wanted to collab with me. And he was like, but I have a couple questions. I didn't even tell him about my HSV2 diagnosis. He asked me, hey, I heard this. This girl, get her off my screen. He collab with you because he also has it. Just the lack of common sense and awareness. Um, yeah, that's why he collab with you because he also, nine times out of ten, has it too. But yeah, so that is the story of Gucci Third Leg, this girl, Danae Davis. Um, Y'all take this as a cautionary tale, you know what I'm saying? Like I always tell y'all, everything that glitters is not gold. Just because, you know, there's a bag to be had, all money is not good money. And this is proof of that. And again, this is not to knock sex work. Because again, what two consenting adults choose to do, that is their business. But you don't then get to, I'm grown, I can fuck who I want to fuck on camera and, and get a bag and I'm rich and I'm stunting. But then when shit don't work, then you want to come crying to the internet. Well, that's part of being grown. If you're grown enough to fuck, you're grown enough to get the consequences behind that. Whether it's un um, un 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 <laughs> unwanted pregnancy or unwanted STD. That's just the truth of the matter. So people need to move smart. And before you sleep with somebody, you should be going to get tested together. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the test results. Because like somebody said in the chat, test results can be faked. And if you're in that type of industry, y'all should be going to the doctors together. 
why not? There's not a deadline on shooting a scene. It's not like you guys are in, uh, what was that? That place in the Valley I used to shoot porn. Because they used to shoot a lot of porn in the Valley back in the day in California. So it's not like you guys are on a schedule. You guys are working for yourselves. Y'all are OnlyFans entrepreneurs. So you guys can schedule a sex session when you guys are ready to. Meaning that y'all could have went and got tested together. Now with the HVS2, whatever they, I just call it herpes. But with that, you don't necessarily get tested for that unless there's a breakout. So people need to understand that as well. So you're really playing Russian roulette when you're out here just smashing multiple people with no commitment. And I'm not saying that you can't be in a committed relationship and the person could cheat on you and bring you back something. That happens as well. But you're going to be far more at risk if you're just sleeping with 2,000 people. That makes you far more, at, far more at risk than if you're just sleeping with one person and you're not engaging in this stuff. So... Again, the whole thing is sad. It's just, it's it's really sad. Uh, the Gucci third leg said he's quitting porn. Well, I don't think you have a choice. I mean, your name is burnt up out here. And my thing is, if he had that, he should have been honest with her and let her make a decision on if she wanted to proceed. But we also, as young men and women, have to use common sense. If you are looking at somebody, they have an open sore, you don't want to sleep with them. That should be common sense. Oh, you cut yourself? Okay, well, bitch, sounds like you won't be getting none today. Because again, what if it wasn't herpes? What if it was HIV? You know what I'm saying? So you, you got, I mean, it could get that serious. So you got to use common sense. It could have been an even deadlier disease. And I think right now, a lot of stuff is being promoted as, you know, it's a way to get quick money. But nobody is talking about the consequences. They're just talking about the money. So I don't know. The whole thing is just really, it's really unnerving. But I wish her the best. And I hope she ends up finding something else to do with her life. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. Hopefully she'll be able to find something else better than just, you know, selling herself on OnlyFans. Because, yeah, she's getting clout right now. And she's on, you know, Aiden Ross's stream and talking to DJ academics, you know, who people be talking about as well. With his, He has his own little issues going on too. But once the clout dies down, what's next? And that's what she needs to figure out. The latest news in the streets. Join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.